Hi oh guys, just going to be a quick video today, um, but quite a fun one. When I had the RX10 Mark IV sent away to be repaired, obviously I tried fitting a new front element, as in the replacement for this one here. And it got me thinking, I thought, the amount of abuse these get, you know, the front elements, how much, how much abuse can you give this before it starts to scratch or show any imperfections or, you know, maybe even chip? Um, I mean, I chip the back of it with a screwdriver trying to just gently go in there, but obviously that's right on an edge. But if you're on a, a flat surface, you know, how much how much would it be before it scratches or, you know, leaves a, a mark enough to sharpen your photos? So obviously we utilise uh, UV filters and stuff like that quite regularly just to protect the front of your lens, if anything. So I thought, you know, anything from sand to, you know, some money in your bag could that be rubbing around bouncing around to try and scratch it with a screwdriver anything like that see how much abuse this can really take and i thought things like sandpaper might be quite a good way of uh, just to see how much it would take before it actually this i mean obviously these are probably hardened glass anyway but we shall see how much this will take this is obviously straight off the front of the rx10 mark 4 so but i'd imagine most of our lenses that we use on other cameras as well are going to be the same sort of treatment so let's go and have a play and see what uh what we can do with it so as you can see i've got the rx10 mark 4 set there and we're so used to using lens hoods and stuff like that i mean i don't use lens caps anymore i've not used them for years one because i always lose them or put them in the wrong pocket and i can't find them um, or they fall off in the bag anyway so i just leave my hoods on generally uh, so it just goes straight in the bag never have a real problem you do get a build up of dust and you know bits and pieces, but you just blow it out. Um, we have lens blowers, we have um, constantly we are blowing on our uh, lens elements on the front, and we're quite often polishing them and all that sort of stuff just to keep them clean. But what damage can we give that? You know, a bit of sandpaper, screwdriver, banging it, scratching it, even a, a wrench there, some money. You know, how much abuse can that actually take before it really starts to show up in in photos in the reality of it? That's, that's what I'm worried about. Um, you know, do we really need a filter, UV filter? The only time I've ever, ever really come across of having a UV filter that actually saved my lens was when I had the 50 to 500 back when I had the Konica Minolta 7D. So sort of 2005, I suppose, something like that. And I was down on the beach and a seagull dropped a stone uh, from above and it bounced in to my lens hood and smashed the front, um, smashed the glass on, on the filter. It was like a one in a million chance of it actually happening. It was bizarre, but also quite expensive because it was a Hoya 90, I think it was a 95 millimeter uh, filter. So pretty, pretty large and quite expensive, but in the day it saved a lens repair or anything like that. So yeah, so let's have a, basically, let's just basically attack it and see what happens really. Right, let's go for a little bit of sandpaper. So as we can see here, we'll go for one corner. It is, has scratched it. You can see some marks there. I can definitely... So don't use sandpaper on your lens. Let's see if we will actually buff away if it is actually a scratch. They are hairline scratches. Um, Hard to see actually, but they are there. But yeah, so we shouldn't use sandpaper on your lens. That's probably not a good move. Um, what about money? Will it scratch? Sandpaper's a no, 
but no damage at all from even a coin bouncing off it. No, nothing, no damage whatsoever. But we have got the scratches down there. You should actually just about see the lines there. So, <clears throat> what else do we go for? Maybe a knife. Oh, that's got a bit of a... How is that? Not a mark on it. Not a mark. How about if we... It turns out they're quite... Again, no marks. So sandpaper seems to be the most destructive at the moment because it just scratched it. So sand is definitely... So imagine if you were down the beach and you've got some sand in your cloth here. That's why I always give them a good shake out. Um, that it will possibly... A piece of sand, you know, it's obviously sandpaper, can and possibly would scratch your lens. Uh, let's try a screwdriver. That's not done anything to it, which is crazy. So sandpaper is definitely not a good move. Definitely not a good move. Um, what else have we got? I mean, what else in the real world would possibly cause a problem? I mean, another screwdriver. Oops. And then, <laughs> that was full on hit. That's not done anything to it at all. Nothing. What about if we... An old rusty screwdriver, that might... Bits of rust are falling off. There is a couple of scratches actually from. Actually, they come off. No, they came away. So the scrapes from the thing. Um, I mean, what happens if we hit it with a one of these? Let's close it. I'm taking it right up actually. I mean, that has damaged it. Has pitted the glass. But I still took that some proper good old thud. Oh, there you go, it broke. That probably took, well, quite a bit to actually break that. So, yeah, they are really quite resilient by the looks of things. So, quite interesting. I'm gonna keep that, that's well cool. <laughs> um, stronger than you think, I think the word is. But obviously, be very mindful if you've been down the beach and there's lots of sand around, that's possibly one thing that might scratch or put a scratch or mark into your front element of your lenses or even your filters doing the same thing. Obviously filters can be replaced much easier than these. Uh, you know, so obviously taking into consideration that a bit of sand or grit on there will obviously cause you problems as well. So obviously really handy tool is a blower. So, you know, blowing blowing your lens element off first before you start to clean it is obviously a good way to stop it getting damaged. But I just thought it'd be a bit of fun. This element here obviously cost me 80 quid. So if we could have 80 pounds worth of views, that'd be amazing <laughs> to get the money back on it. Um, yeah, so obviously utilizing my RX-10, I have got a filter for it. But this, at the moment in time, I'm going to do some sharpness tests to see if that filter actually causes any issues. Some people say filters do soften your image. But it'll be interesting to see some side-by-side -side images. So that'll be another video coming soon. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Little notification bell as well. And yeah, be careful with the camera. Don't rake it like I have. And obviously, uh, just be careful when you're polishing the front of your lens because um, that might happen.
All right, I'll see you soon.